Hello, I'm Sammy I'm P. Sam Welcome to episode 34 of my Let's Voice series. This is the series where I use the excuse of practicing my voice acting to justify playing video games. And if you enjoy the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you subscribe, please pl click the blah, 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 blah. Click the bell to get notifications of when I put... Oh, this is what I get for trying to record videos back to back. Click the bell. It will give you a notification when I put out videos. Ha! Ah, comments are always uh, appreciated. If you don't like the video, dislike button's there. Constructive criticism, also appreciated. Oh my goodness, where the hell did that bug go? There was, <laughs> there was definitely a giant grub right here at the end of the last episode. Oh, hi. Okay. And now it's not. It's just, it's just gone. Ooh. This is a, it's a thing. Uh. Oh god, there was a thing about... Hands and coming out of the water. Damn it. That was, I just, just recorded the last episode. And I'm pretty sure there was something, there was a thing that talked about this. And I completely forget. Oh well. A cracked, dirt-rimmed carving dominates the wall. In it, two hands rise from curling waves. Sockets, like the one in the hand of the statue outside the temple, have been carved in the hollowed palms. Both are empty. You notice a rushing, whispering sound coming from your pack. Hi. It's the cornet of the depths. Sound like a gentle, crush crashing surf is coming from the shell. Inspect carvings. Still haven't looked out of its conch or conch. And I don't care. I'm going to keep calling it conch. Future Sam can suck it. Cracks. <laughs> I really hope I'm not wrong. <sighs> Cracks, mold and grime vein the stone. The carving looks ancient and it feels that way too. Smooth with wear. Yet as you run your hands along the stone, you feel a cool whisper of air. It feels like there's a draft coming from the other side. Uh, the sound of waves grows larger and stronger. Put the conch... <coughs> or conch... Should have looked it up. <laughs> In one hand. Oh, goodness. As you do, the thunderous, percussive music of a stormy sea spills out of the conch. It rises into a wordless melody that reminds you of voices heard from underwater. Hey, just like last time. The conch gro glows. Perhaps it's just the trick of the shadows, but the stone hand seems to tighten around it. You have lost an item. Cornered of the Depths. All right. Um, oh, okay. It snapped back to the center and I was like, um, we're gonna need a second one of the a cornet. Cornet of the Shallows. Oh. More bug bits. Um, where would we find something like that? Nope, stop. Shoot the thing. Thank you. Nope, nothing inside. Well, I mean it exploded, so... Not surprising. Um... Where do... I want to go? Where do I want to? Where do I want to go? Splash, 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 splash. I'll tell you what, I think we will try these stairs and see if it does lead back to where we were before. Oh, wow. 
you find stairs carved into the cliff. They're disconcertingly narrow in some places and broken in others. But they appear to lead all the way up to the top. All the way to the top. Inspect the path. Many of the steps are worn, fissured, and crumbling. Scree slides loose in the wind. A gap awaits you, dark and plunging, about halfway up the cliff. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go use the other stairs, because I'm now thinking those are different. Uh, so we go here. Run, 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 run. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the backtracking portion of this dungeon delve. Please ensure all hands and feet are inside the vehicle as we continue back to where we started. Alright, that just... That's the same place. Uh, I'm going to double check this place. I think that's... Oh, hair, what are you doing? Please. Stop walking through decaying corpses, guys. What are you doing? You can walk around it. Just path around it. It is It is fine. Depicts two conks rising from the waves. All right. Oh. Hey. Did you know there was more to this temple? Because I certainly didn't. Conk? God, if I need the original thing to get this one, I'm gonna be... Oh my. Hi. Okay. This is... The Undercroft! Okay. Cool. That's where I want to go. But I feel like I should be able to interact with a lot of stuff here that just, I just can't. Just can't. Alright. Chamber of Waves. Hlavs. Chamber of Hlavs. If I need the thing I left in that wall to get the second one, I'm gonna be... I mean, accepting and just head back, but... Kind of sad at the same time. Where the... Come on. Where is the... There. Okay. Alright. We're going to head back. We're going to go down the stairs in that other area. And then, if that hasn't led us anywhere of note, we're going to go to the Undercroft, I guess. Yes. Climb through the passage. Thank you. Oh. Run, 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 run. Don't have. Yeah, I think I need more diversity in the in the weapons that I've, I've I'm using, just in case. Because they had a lot of stuff there where crushing would have been really useful, and I just don't. You find stairs carved into the cliff. They're disconcertingly narrow in some places, broken in others, but they appear to lead all the way to the bottom. Ah, it is the same. Really? Inspect the path. You can see a gap. Yes. Right. Halfway down, you reach a spot where the stairs have crumbled away. Only a narrow ridge remain. In the darkness, your keen senses detect another shape just below the gap. It's a ledge. The remaining of some old building. More importantly, it looks wider and more stable than the ridge of crumbling stairs. Thank you, Perception. You consider the path before you. Shimmy across the ledge... Dexterity. What's my dexterity like? Not great. Not great. 
not terrible. Yeah, all right, Maya's not terrible. Attempt to cross the crumbling ridge. Shimmy across the ledge. Oh, I, that's okay. The ridge is surprisingly slick with mold. It's hard to maintain your balance and the effort quickly becomes tiring. That's not how I expected that to work. I expected one person to go across. Uh, okay. Yep, a bunch of people got injured. Alright. That's not what I should have done. <laughs> that is definitely not how I should have uh, done that. Everyone is now injured for my hubris, I guess. Okay, let's go to the Undercroft. Where would the other cornet be? Oh, now it came out this way. What? Okay. That's not what I expected. It's fine, I guess. Just not what I expected. I should rest. Super irritating. You don't need... Uh, something I just have a lot of. I'm not particularly... Max health, intellect, have a loaf. I just want to... I, uh, losing all the bonuses is, gonna be, is a shame, but... More importantly... Get rid of in injury that I foolishly gave myself. I should have given everyone some bread. Ah, well. Ah, uh, well. I definitely should have raised, um, lifted the cage back up. I'm always interested to go back and check that that's what they did. But at the same time, I don't want to go back and check to see that's what they did. A deep blue, choppy watered cove spans before you, widening down a, cav uh, a cavern that leads eventually to the open sea. Waves clap against ramshackle docks and the breath that fills your lungs is tinged with salt. Shouts from rowdy sailors pepper the air like buckshot. The deckhands lumber across the water-beaten docks, ready and waiting, watching the waves that roil the cove. Do we watch from a distance or do we creep closer? We're not really a good at creeping. I mean, what, stealth one, stealth none, stealth five? So one person is... <laughs> Two people even have stealth. One is not so great. One's quite good at it. So I don't know if creeping closer. But at the same time, I don't know if I necessarily need to stealth. The coarse rocks grind beneath your feet. Uh, slick enough to slow your approach. You peer closer for a better view. It's then... It's then... Oh, goodness. It's then that Juana water shapers, as denoted by their robes, stride the length of the docks. Arms sweeping, lips moving, they swirl the turbulent tide into a calm, directed current. For a moment, the cove falls still and silent, as if caught in a collective bated breath. And slowly, a slew of black varnished dinghies, sail, sails lowered, row steadily into the bay. The sailors whoop, shouting a jumble of bawdy greetings mixed with commands for docking and unloading of the wares. The ships lurch against the wharf and are emptied of crate after unmarked crate almost immediately. The operation is efficient and quick. There is a shrill whistle. A dwarven woman emerges from the squat fort jutting from the eastern side. Game, please. 
With a shrill whistle, a dwarven woman emerges from the squat fort jutting from the eastern side of the ca um, cavern. Twice more she whistles before the water shapers reverse the bay's current and the ships are swept gently out of sight back to sea. Dad says, I don't want to clap, but that'd give us away. Water shapers aiding the Principe, bringing in cargo with all the grace of drunk oxen. <sighs> Takeu takes in a sharp breath. I have never seen a more undignified use of our talent. Have we all honed Nagati's talent for drudgery? Takehu balls his fists and trembles on the spot. I think I want to be more benevolent than I want to be clever in this kind of moment. Oh, but it is a good point. I do like using insight. They're helping the Rapparo. There's value in that. Wait. You don't care what they're doing, just how they go about it. We can discuss my emotional state later. This display has me sickened to my core. The prince will want to know of this, but... Takeu stops himself. A cautious look comes over him. Something on your mind? I am wondering if the crowd needs to know the truth about Delva's row at all. Mira smirks and folds her arms. This warren brings business and trade through the gullet. Without it, the Raparu would be destitute. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of don't want to let pirates... There's got to be a better way to help the Raparu. I hope. Um, no, that's not what I want to say. Uh, I'll tell the prince what we saw here, but I'll see if we can convince him to let Delva's remain untouched. Eh, uh, I'll have to think it over. It is no easy question and has no simple answers. Takei who rubs his forehead with both hands, sighing. Now I assume we could just walk in. But that... That feels like a pretty bad idea. Uh... Stealth. That's where all the water shapers are. Okay. Uh, long rope is suspended over the span between two docks. They're off use. Look means they're likely intended to move, car help move the cargoes off uh, the ships. Uh, inspect the ropes. Alright, it can climb, but I don't particularly want to. Do I want to confront the water shapers, though? Is there anyone else here? Let's head back.
I don't know if we need to make a... I don't think we need to make actually, actually go and confront anyone at the moment. Um... You know what? I'm going to quickly... I'm going to go get the, the damn conch back. And take it to the temple in there. To see if that does anything. I mean, I need to go back. I need to just remember, I need to talk to that guy and tell him I've killed all the grubs. I completely forgot. Take it back. Leave. Uh, deep size. Come on. Is there a faster mode that I can activate? No. No, there is not. In combat? With what? I don't know what I was in combat with just then, but apparently I was in combat. Was it the, the sickening? But the Surely I've gone through. I don't know. Alright. Fingers crossed. This actually does something. Didn't do anything. All right, let's go talk to that guy. <sighs> Where else would it be? Climb through the passage. Now. Thing is, they did say they're going to leave the cave for ha the cage for half a day, and now I am actually going to go check. I said I didn't want to, but that was before I actually had a purpose to go back and check. So I've rested twice. So that could. Hi. That might simply mean that the cage is just not there. And if the cage isn't there, then we're probably going to have to just walk out onto that dock and hopefully talk our way through it and get back to the prince. You found, you found a way out of here. Ha have you? Uh. I've opened a passage through the ruins... Through... Um, through the ruins of a temple in the lower area. He rubs the stale smell of sweat from the back of his neck, face slack with relief. His eyes crinkle in brief uncertainty, but it ebbs just as quickly. 
then I'll, ma I'll make it. I'll make it. I know I'd hoped, but honestly, I, I didn't really expect you'd help me. I... I can't turn a blind eye to someone in need. A wistful smile twists across his dirty face. Huh. I, 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 I owe you, friend. If you're of a mind, meet me in Port Marge. I'll, I'll make it worth your while. Too sore to rush for it, he secures his pack with careful motions and with a final nod to you, eases out into the darkness. Doesn't look like we have a cage there. It's actually kind of neat. It does mean it's like that way of exiting is only available to you if... Yeah, it's gone. I'm not surprised. I'd like... I don't know if... I don't know, but I'd like to think that if we hadn't rested, the cage would still be here, and we could go back up, and that would be the, the easier way to get back, but you need to have not rested. Stairs here, can I get to that? No. No. Okay. Temple... Three temples. You'd assume... I would have thought... Wait. I'm just gonna... There's nothing here that I can... Oh, there's something over there I can loot. No, uh, no. Run. Hold group. Not terrible. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. racking my brain to try and think if there's another place that I've missed that would have the other thing that I could put into that temple. I don't. I don't think I have. Grub. Oh. All right. Nothing up here, is there? I've... All right. Double check. This isn't like is not like just something that I've. Uh, path around. I think it'd be simple. Path around. Alright, doesn't look like I've missed anything. Irritatingly. Mural picks two cunks rising from the waves. Alright. Alright. 
we're going to end it there. I don't know where this thing is. Maybe I'll look into it. So I don't want to backtrack too much for this. So I might look into where, hopefully try and get a sense of where it is. Just, just want to make sure, I don't really need to get directions, make sure I'm not just missing something. Oh god, if it's not the glitch, I'll tell you what. <sighs> Alright. That's it. That's the end of the episode. So, I forget what I said. I've just done a whole bunch back to back and I now don't remember what episode this was supposed to be. But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope if you did enjoy it, feel f you could feel free to like, share and subscribe. And if you subscribe, you click the little button to get the notification. All that good YouTube stuff. Comments, wonderful. Uh, but no spoilers, please. And if you didn't enjoy it, obviously the dislike button is there. Destructive criticism is always welcome. And as I've said in the last few episodes, I'm going to be, I'm going to be off, or potentially for this episode, I might already be um, off overseas for a couple of weeks, uh, a bit over two weeks, really. Uh, and I'm hopefully we'll have some content um, scheduled to be released while I'm away. Uh, mostly will be Pillars of Eternity, of course, um, but there is some other videos that I might use. I haven't decided, and once I have decided, I'll obviously let, let you know. But hey, join in for the next episode. Don't remember what number it will be, but I'm sure it'll be great. We're either going to find that last thing and work out the temple, or we're just going to march our way through and have a chat with some water shapers who are doing naughty things. Bad water shapers. Come join me for that.